Hello everyone, welcome to KK Human Anatomy and Physiology videos, a platform where you will get interesting and informative facts about human anatomy and physiology. In this video, we are going to talk about the circulatory system. This video will going to be introductory. Circulatory system, also called cardiovascular system, consists of three independent systems. Heart lungs and blood vessels which includes arteries, capillaries and veins. Let's talk about the functions of circulatory system. It permits circulation of blood and transport of nutrients such as amino acids and electrolytes. It also transports oxygen, carbon dioxide, hormones and takes away wastes. It helps in fighting diseases, stabilize temperature and pH and maintain homeostasis. All cells in the body need to have oxygen and nutrients and they need their wastes removed. Okay. These are the main roles of the circulatory system. The heart, blood and blood vessels work together to service the cells of the body. Let's talk about one of the most important organ in human circulatory system that is heart. Heart is the main pumping organ of the circulatory system. It is reddish brown in color. Hollow, muscular organ, roughly the size of one's fist. Its average weight is about 300 gram in males and 250 grams in females. Let's see the location. See this figure. It is conical in shape and lies in mediastinum that is the space between two lungs right lung and the left lung it is broader at upper end and conical at lower end conical end is slightly tilted to left side and rest above the diaphragm. Heart is enclosed in a membranous sac called pericardium. See this is heart wall. Pericardium is formed of two main layers, outer fibrous and inner serous pericardium. Serous pericardium is soft, moist and elastic. It is formed of squamous epithelium and is further divisible into two layers as parietal and visceral layer. Parietal and visceral layers of serous pericardium are separated by a pericardial space. This space is filled with pericardial fluid about 50 ml which acts as a shock absorber and protects the heart from mechanical injuries. It also keeps the heart moist and acts as a lubricant. Here comes the summary of this video. We have discussed the importance of circulatory system which is also called cardiovascular system. It permits circulation of blood and transport of nutrients. It helps in fighting diseases, stabilizing temperature and pH. We have also discussed location of human heart. Hope you understood well. In my upcoming video, you will get information about internal and external structure of heart. 
If you like this video, then subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. Do like, comment, and share this video. For more update, join the forum and group. Visit my Facebook page. For more information, I have provided the link in description below. Have a happy learning.